CataractCoach.com, the USF Cataract and Glaucoma Video Contest. Here's your chance to win $500 from the Cataract Coach. I know you love Cataract videos. You love to watch them. And I hope, I trust you're also making them, recording your own surgeries. There's so much to be learned. And if you have a nice little video clip, about three minutes long, you can get paid for your video. Here's how. There's a big contest, now it's sponsored by University of South Florida, I Institute there in Tampa, Florida. Chairman is Dr. Ramesh Ayala. And we're hosting an event with Cataract Coach on Saturday, February the 19th. So coming up soon. And there are awards, cash prizes for the best videos. And you can be a resident and submit a video, a fellow, a doctor in practice. You can be from the USA. You can be from any other country on the planet. All you got to do is submit the video. Full information is going to be here in the description of this video. And I'll show that to you. And we have an all-star faculty. We're going to learn glaucoma secrets from Dr. Ayala, who's a fantastic anterior segment and glaucoma specialist. He's the one, if you recall, showed us the videos of how to deal with and drain choroidal hemorrhages. I've never seen one in my life, but I've seen his video. And now I've memorized and I know what to do in the future. If you don't know that video, you better look it up. We'll have Dr. Inderpal Singh, a MIGS guru, fantastic surgeon, great educator, great speaker. He is going to explain you all these little nuances that are going to help. Dr. John Jarstad, an absolutely fantastic cataract and refractive surgeon. You want to be the master of the cataract surgery? Learn from him. I will be learning from his videos. And so this event's going to happen. It's going to be te uh, telecast on Zoom. It'll be online. And you really need to submit your videos. You're going to learn so much by participating in this. And even by submitting your videos, you'll get to contribute to the meeting. And of all the submissions, remember, three minutes. It's got to be in high definition. Don't send some low-resolution video that's totally out of focus. And it can be anything. It can be a routine case. It can be a complication. It can be a challenging case. It can be anything as long as it's a good teaching point. So you learn something from it. Because remember, the goal of the whole thing is we learn from each other. So here's the more information. Check down there. There's more information about the meeting. And I definitely want you to participate. And for sure, on Saturday, February 19th, please tune in. Links and descriptions, again, in the bottom here. It'll be a fantastic meeting. I'll be there live in person. So if you're in Florida, come on over to Tampa. We'll have a fantastic time. So check it out. And I hope to see your video. Thank you. Here are more details about this competition. You submit a video, about three minutes edited. You can use your voiceover. You can put text on the screen, whatever you want, and have it about some topic that you like in cataract or glaucoma surgery. We have this all-star panel here. We will learn a lot. We're going to select the best videos, and we're going to give cash prizes. It will be amazing. Anyway, I hope to see your video. You've got a week left to do it. Please submit it. And because I always want to leave you with a good surgical pearl, hey, check out this video that I made, a very brief one about our favorite twist and out technique for IOL exchange. IOL exchange using the twist and out technique through a standard phaco incision with no special instruments. So the IOL is in the anterior chamber. One haptic is brought out through the unenlarged phaco incision. The edge of the optic is held with straight tying forceps. We'll use the chopper in the other hand to really get a good grip on that optic. There we go. Now using a spatula. The spatula is going to help protect the corneal endothelium and allow us to roll this IOL. So it'll assist in rolling the lens. We roll that optic around the forceps and then pull it outside the eye. Just that easy. And this even works down to a 2.4 millimeter incision with all single piece acrylic lenses and even three piece. Now we've published this technique in the JCRS. The key is the hand positioning, starting supinated, then pronate and keep rotating. Here's a resident performing the technique. We've sped the video up to two times normal, but this is a senior resident who's operating doing the same technique. Again, holding the optic, spatula now is going on top of the IOL optic, protecting the cornea and helping to roll the lens. Now let's show you the external view. External view, the same thing here. Rotating, rotating, rotating to curl it up, and it can be brought outside the eye. Give it a try. Thank you.